Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on an unlimited Appalachian Advantage plan. Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. On Saturday, March 25th, the Mingo County Commission will be hosting their second electronics recycling event. Due to regular waste disposal companies being unable to properly dispose of household electronics, the Commission is taking it upon themselves to do so. By partnering with Tri-State eScrap, Mingo County residents can safely throw away their old devices. We have been blessed, this is the second year, that we have received a grant from the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection, their Covered Electronics Devices Program, and we call it CED for short. And uh, we set up here at the courthouse and we allow people to bring those items and more um, to our collection and we properly dispose of those with our vendor that we um, have chosen to help us. Items being accepted for recycling include CRT TVs, stereos, computers, cell phones, air conditioners, and much more. This event is only for Mingo County residents with a valid ID. The vendor that we work with, Tri-State eScrap, they are um, certified with the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection, and they do several different things um, with the devices once they take them, depending on what that device is. And yes, they do get recycled in you know, various and sundry ways. This um, opportunity that we have to work with the DEP and get those things out of people's houses is really a win-win for um, everybody because you don't have those littering, um, the roadways, the sidewalks in towns, and you know people don't have them cluttering their houses. It's completely free to the public because we are grant funded through the West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection. Um, the only thing that people need to do is they need to bring their ID with them because you have to be a Mingo County resident in order to participate. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.